So we will read verse number 64 from Srivilap Kusumanjali, Vashila Raghunadas Goswami, with the sweet commentaries of our beloved Anandadas Babaji. O oh, Madure, sweet girl, when will you gladden me when I see Madhava somehow glancing at your joyful and eager lotus face with lowered eyes as he sits in the dining room with his elders. So I hope you don't mind when I read a little bit slow because translators need to come with us. I will try my best because they always again and again request that we read slow and we talk slow. So I will try my best. O oh, Madure, sweet girl, when will you gladden me when I see Madhava somehow glancing at your joyful and eager lotus face with lowered eyes as he sits in the dining room with his elders. So there are so many different verses in Vilap Kusumanjali and this verse has a special sweetness like all the verses they have special sweetness. So the sweetness in this verse as far as I can feel, please share your feelings also. The sweetness in this verse is that the loving exchange here is very hidden. So if you are very much in love with someone, fresh, highest love, and you cannot show this because your elders are in the room and you are just eating in the dining room. Everybody could watch you. How to exchange your very deep loving feelings with your beloved so that no one can see it only the one who should see it so this is the whole scene here and this sweetness is that this love may find a way to always be exchanged in ever fresh, sweet ways. And even the deepest brasa is exchanged in very hidden ways. So this is very nicely described by this verse and explanation of Ananda Das Babaji here. Yeah. 
explanations. Ai madure. Oh, sweet girl. How beautiful you are. When you are seen by Madhava. In the assembly of superiors. Swamini is serving through the hands of Mother Rohini. Mother Yashoda is there. Baladev Chantra is there. But somehow, Shamsundara is catching a glimpse of her. He cannot freely gaze at her. But if he looks at Swamini's face just once, he can understand how eager she is. There's a statement now from Padakarta, from Srila Yadanandan Thakur. Krishna relishes the rice and vegetables cooked by Radhika, like nectar. And he blissfully sends his bee-like eyes out to drink the honey of rice lotus-like face. Sri Radhika also sends the drains of her glances out. Another sorry. Agata Marita, can you unmute yourself? There's some Spanish translation. Thank you. Sorry, that Sri Radhika also sends the drains of her glances out. to catch the nectar of Krishna's beauty. Seeing the sweetness of Krishna's face, fair-faced Rai doesn't know anything anymore out of blissful Eagerness. How eager Swamini is after Shyam's slight glance. Madotkam Harshina Utsukam. Swamini's face is stamped with eagerness. In his transcendental vision, Sri Raghunath relishes that blissful eagerness on her lotus-like face. When the practicing devotee follow 
in the footsteps of the Acharyas, they can also relish the sweetness of Swamini's face in their meditations. In deep meditation, the vicinity of the beloved deity is vividly experienced. Again, in deep meditation, the vicinity of the beloved deity is vividly experienced. The devotee will no longer think, I am practicing smarana. Great anxiety for the direct meeting with the beloved deity will arise in the heart of a devotee whose meditation ends. The more he relishes, the more anxious he will be for more. It is not proper to feel satisfied after a little experience has come. The more one's thirst and eagerness increases, the closer the final attainment of the deity will come. How eager Sri Rupa and Raghunath are. It is as if their jests, their hearts, are breaking. When the birds and animals on the bank of Radakund hear Sri Ragunat anxiously crying out. Of separation, they all cry along. Making it known that they are feeling the same pain. Visions Sportis are more relishable than smarana. Meditations or dreams. During visions, the experience is quite vivid. The beloved can be seen through the eyes and the meditation can be realized with closed eyes. When Srila Bilva Mangala Thakur came to Vrindavan, He saw Krishna wherever he cast his glance. He 
He went up to him to catch him. But then he understood. It was not a direct meeting. It was a vision. How clear were his visions? So like always in these explanations of Srila Ananda Das Babaji, there are so many deep points. So please, we will stop here a little bit and then maybe we can share on these points. Please share your feelings, your impressions on this and make it even more sweet. Not allowed to... Go Dave, please, please, please share something. <laughs> Ich weiß nicht, ich noch nicht laut geschaut. Ja, wäre Was You like to share good day? Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Wow. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Then what? What if we listen? It was so clear to understand that Guru is not the goal. To come in these feelings, we have to fix our goal. Right, Gurudev? All that what we just listen is only Was heißt das? Uh, a farba. To be experienced. To be experienced when the goal is our swamini. Right? When right, right. These feelings, <laughs> we also come in a loving relationship to our guru. No question. Especially with this guru we got. <laughs> But to enter this abode, our Guravani is speaking about and reading about from Ananda Das Babaji's words. So beautiful. He opened such, such an unbelievable, loving view to us where there is some exchange of love between, between Swamini and Krishna, when they changed this sidelong glances to each other and eagerly find a possibility to meet. This is our goal and this we have to fix. <clears throat> Every one of us, I think this is also what Tarun Baba, your Guru Dev is like to teach us that this is our goal, to come in these feelings and in the servanthood of Swamini. And it's a big mercy. We, we don't know how, how much love is behind this 
what these gurus are giving to us uh, simple-minded western souls <laughs> really we have no cultural background to understand this how much love they have nobody others gave it i think ananda das babaji and gurudev they start with this to give an understand of bath to the western devotees others brought the knowledge in form of the scriptures to teach the western people but these secrets openly shown to us it's a it's a, a special mercy this is a uh we get a few a few a few in the in the absolute um, private abode of rata and krishna and this is not possible only by some knowledge this is only we get by by a fixed bath and when we get a spiritual body for this we need spiritual bodies otherwise we cannot get it and this is really a special mercy to us thank you again good day we had a beautiful time in vrindavan again and again dandavats 10000 Dandavats to your lotus feet, really, and to your Guru Dev's lotus feet. I'm so thankful. I cannot tell this in words. Jai Shri Rati. So Krishna is eating the rice and the vegetables cooked by Radhika. He is relishing it like nectar because all kind of rasas are on the table. but he is eating radikas radikas uh, offerings to him so what kind day could be actually we can meditate on that what rasa is in this dishes when she is cooking for him what she is thinking of what she is feeling all these feelings are going into this dishes so when krishna is relishing that then it's not just like he is imagining something no he is feeling what radhika is feeling for him so although many are around and he cannot openly show but he is relishing hidden of course his eyes are searching for her in that ecstasy where she is where's my beloved and the bee like eyes are searching for her and then they're exchanging very sweet glances unseen to others of course mandaris they can see mandaris feel all this exchange and this is also a special occasion for the mandari because she has not so much service now 
she is not very busy now to give this exchange support because she cannot openly. But mentally and in other hidden ways, she can. She can go there and tip some uh, two, some two nail of Krishna and show where they will meet later on. Because actually these dishes are cooking the heart of Mohan, of Krishna. His eagerness is going up to the highest. I want to meet her. So the mandaris will help in this case, even though all the elders are around. I just want to give a little pic picture to this scene which I could feel. So please share more. Tarun Baba, Gurudev. So I'm, I can also try to say something shortly. I'm always, when I hear my beloved Gurudev's words, I am not filled with a lot of rasa, but I hear the practical things which Baba is telling me when I hear his words. So this beautiful Tika had me on three points. Three. One, Ishtadev. Two, eagerness. Three, vicinity. So what I learned, because I, I try to be a practical German guy, <laughs> I hear here is very important what always is good if he's saying Ishtadeva. If you don't know Ishtadev, then nothing can happen. So first Baba is saying Ishtadev is very, very the, the vicinity of the beloved deity. So what is the beloved deity? If we have many, many beloved deities in our hearts, how can we be a Kandabhav? How can we be one pointed? So here Baba is clearly saying we need Ishtadev. We have to have our Ishtadev. And who is Ishtadev? It's Swamini. So for me, this is always practical. I hear Baba is clearly focusing on the point of you have to have your Ishtadev because if you don't have your Ishtadev, you cannot have your Stai bath. And if you don't have your Stai bath, everything is useless. So the next point is eagerness. If you feel the love and you know what is your Ishtadev by the mercy of Gurudev. So Guru Nishta, Ishta Nishta. So by the mercy of Gurudev, you know, and you get this imprinted in your heart that Swamini is our Ishtadev. So if we are fixed in that, if we know who is our Ishtadev, there is only two books, like Gurudev is saying, this is Radharasa Sudhanidi and Vilapakusu Manjali. So we know our Ishtadev. Now it is up to us to become eager. Baba is saying eagerness. The eagerness is only coming when we are fixed in our Ishtadev. So, and then the next is third, vicinity. Vicinity means closeness. So we can only become close to our Ishtadev by the mercy of Guru and Guru Manjari. So when we know our Ishtadev, by the mercy of Gurudev, we have to every day, I can speak for myself, every day, we have to be eager to do Seva, to do Sadhana Bhakti, Manchari Bhav Sadhana Bhakti. So this is our goal. We have to be eager with our Ishtadev to have a relationship and to be eager. So, and then this very excellent point is coming in the vicinity. Only if we know this and if we are guided by the Mahatmas and by Gurudev, we can come into the vicinity. And now Baba is making a very, very wonderful point. Uh, this is how much I understood. Baba is saying a spurti is much more relishable than smarnam. So why is it like that? Baba is explaining because 
Spurti means you're no longer too smarnam. Spurti means it's coming from outside. Smarnam means you are trying to do this like it is legitimate. We have to do it like that way. We have to create this meditation. But at one point, it switches and it becomes, it is coming from outside. So this Spurti is not our doing. Spurti is Kripa. Spurti is coming from Kripa. And therefore, it is nearly the real thing. And therefore, it is much more relishable. But how can we get this Spurti? Only by Ishtanishta, eagerness. And then Smarnam will lead us to this beautiful Spurti where we get this, uh, yeah, Spurti, this vision, which is then that we come to that point. I would love to know how that feels. <laughs> uh, when you are feeling that you are not doing any Smarnam anymore. So this is a very high goal. And by the mercy of Guru and the Mahachan and the Vaishnavas, we can come to that point where this is coming from outside of our mental bubble. It is coming from outside into our heart without our endeavor. That is called the Spurti. So this is what I took from this purport. Um, the Ishtanishta, the eagerness, and then comes the vicinity, the closeness. So Baba is giving us step by step the guidance. That is what I understood. Jai Radha. I hope it was okay. Very nice. Gurudev needs to say something. I want to hear Gurudev. I listen many times, but today this would come different way. Can you read this? Asmaran is not satisfied. <laughs> The, the devotee uh, will no longer think I am practicing smarana. Yeah. Great anxiety for the direct meeting with the beloved deity will arise in the yeah. heart. That's it. So, so this is the what we are looking of. Krishna or Radhika. This is the Mahaprabhu. Adilila Pur can go you if you go. Then you re remember this that Krishna took the Manjari bhav to feel his spirit. He is not satisfied with his uh, asma. He wants to see direct to her in his today. He not want to see his today. So, and it's, this is purity is happening today. In a feeling of Krishna. So Krishna is teaching as Asmaran is not satisfying. The bhav only Asmaran is not satisfying. Read again this one. Read this. <coughs> In deep meditation, the vicinity of the beloved deity is vividly experienced. The devotee will no longer think, I am practicing smarana. Yeah. Krishna knows that I am practicing thinking. You are so deep in meditation. 
It's not possible. I will change on it. I want to see her. Wow. Krishna right. teaching Manjari Bhav Gurudev Anandas Bhavaji want to say this. This is Dharanina happening here. Adilina poor canto, you see. So great anxiety for the direct meeting. Oh, this anxiety is so interesting. Do I have so much anxiety to see first time, first time, all meetings are first time. Never happened before. Wow. Wow. Who is this? It's full demon, it's full on inside. Look, not thinking on it. It's not satisfying to me. Visions, spurtis are more relishable than smarana. Yeah. During visions, the experience is quite vivid. Again? During this Reason. visions, the experience is quite vivid. Wow. It means full of life. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh. The Beloved can be seen through the eyes and the meditation can be realized with closed eyes. Sorry, I didn't get this. What the word is what beautiful words? What the words is, is not words, is a realization in Siddha Deha. What Baba is looking. How oh, Mahaprabhu is meditating in Krishna Bhav as a Mandri for his sister Dev Swami. There is a statement of Radharas Sudhanidhi given by Srila Anandadas Babaji. O oh, saintly mind. Wow. This is the meaning of saintly mind. O oh, saintly mind. Quickly take shelter of sweet 
natured Radha. Yeah. Oh. And he mind to become saintly, who become Madhuri of Radhika. They are saintly mind. Madhuri means Dasi of Radhika. Means Dasi means everything for you, Swami. There is nothing else in my life out of you. Although I am not very qualified and although I am not capable for your Lord thinking service, but I want to be your Darcy. This is not my mind. I will be never qualified to be your Darcy. We not Krishna is telling here, you see, I'm never qualified to be see you what I want to see you. Because of all as this us if you come I cannot see you. But my desire to see you, my spurti to see you. Uh, yeah. So many times I listen to this verse, but today is new how come to me. So I share maybe uh, some mistakes improve me. O oh, saintly mind. Quickly take shelter of sweet natured Radha. Yes. Who is like a grove full of wish yielding wines. Wow. So, Gurudev, maybe you can explain why a grove full. Of wish yielding wines. Why should Grove. Anandadas Babaji is giving here this example? Grove full of wish yielding. Grove. What is the meaning of grove? In Govardhan Hill, many groves are. Grove means explain that. It could be a kunja. Yes, you see. A grove is a hole in 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 the in the hill, for example, a grove. So you can imagine. So many punjas of every manjaris as a separate punja. Where? When we take shelter of Radhika, then we have a kunja, we have a room to decorate, to welcome them. Wow. Um, excuse me, may I? Um, yeah. Could it also be that it is a storehouse of loving feelings? Uh, that is my room. My heart is a storehouse. And grow is everybody has a one room to stay. And that is for love, love. Yes. How yeah. you can come without love? What is the meaning of Guru Manjari, 
he give this one drop of love in our heart that how to sensitive mind will grow it one drop then what happened read this line who is like a grove full of wish yielding wines then not can wish yielding wine means that there is nothing than my student no job no any business nothing no doubt him he is not interested to do anything material he has no advantage that is a gross then i see my punya actually it is not work my dear that drop we shielding it will not grow it one drop will be dry up but by her mercy my punja my room will be more filled up my heart room because my guru said is a dasya is today even the krishna is devis radha chaitan chatamrit telling a bhagavad gita 1015 krishna cannot understand without her energy does not not know him sir see that 1015 to understand krishna himself he need his energy to explain what who is krishna what is the beauty inside him i don't know energy who is energy that is a different issue but energy is on the radha my small baby punyam all the bhagavad gita i see radha ran he bring and show me wa i say wa where he read from bhagavad gita i say this radha ran he prabhu pad right Rantera. They Gurudev. are. Yeah. Uh, they are rascals who bring us to us. Is the day Rantera. We are so fortunate. All the time they are trying, and we are so. all and that we don't understand because my mind is not become sensitive what what I, what i was always also thinking could when when uh, sudevi beautifully said the storehouse uh, and goravani was saying why is it why is it the grove and He, the author could also have said it's just one wish yielding wine but why is it a grove so i was thinking that why is it a grove a grove is full of beautiful wines so radhika she has the most and the topmost variety of different kind of love and all the manjaris are expressions of that beautiful love so therefore it is a whole grove of these wish yielding wines and we are so fortunate that we have the possibility to take one of these beautiful beautiful uh wish wish yielding wines to take root in our hearts so she has unlimited wish yielding wines which forms 
a very, very wonderful Nikunja, wonderful grove. So this is very beautifully, every word is very important. I, I, that was what was coming to me. My God, if you cannot add any Anandas Babaji minus plus, then no meaning will come here. You cannot add any word and this, this cut from Bhagavad Gita, no meaning will come. So, there is a really wine. I don't understand this wine. When we are suffering in material things, we need the help of wine. Too much problem. Material suffering. Then to relax, we need the wine. Higher than this wine is divine. <laughs> when the mercy of saintly person comes, then we want to be divine. When we will go, in the Govardhan mountain of the in your punja you will go then it divine will not work there honey wine will work there honey wine she will give her Honey wine to you. You know, meaning of honey wine. Baba is always telling about that. Honey wine. Meditate in honey wine. Only if you have a home, then he will give honey wine. If you practice at the Dadshi of Radhika and bring everyone to her daughter's feet, and she give honey. We show you honey. And sometimes when she wants to reward that she see, see like this every corner. Nobody is there, no sakis are there. Then she calls, and from her mouth, she gives a petal leaf to the manjari bounce. Gaura Sundar, when he was here, he is reading and explaining. And from that day, he become mad. He want to buy a hotel and this and that. It's all finished. I don't want any business. I want to retire. This is him. From there. Amrit <laughs> words of Baba. How many times read and you know mercy will come to you. This is too wise. <laughs> so we are still in the verse from <laughs> Yeah, I would say I want to listen to you today. So Srila Anandadas Babaji was quoting this verse, Radhara Sudanidi 28. O oh, saintly mind, quickly take shelter of sweet natured Radha, who is like a grove full 
of wish yielding wines, who reveals a wonderful abundance of powerful Rasika compassion and who is a deep and unbridled nectar ocean of love. Unbridled, unbridled, I don't know. I'm not so good in, Eng in English, but I think you understand. So Gurudev, what I feel here is like, she is, like uh, Tarun Baba said, she is so merciful in so many ways. So the wish yielding wines are from different categories. So she reveals also a wonderful abundance of powerful Rasika compassion. Every, everyone has a different, different desire. If my desire is up to divine, I will get divine. If I am not satisfied now divine, I am not satisfied with wine, I will get divine. It depends. We shall be because she give what is your core. Sometimes gives wine, divine. And honey pot. What you practice? Material practice, she will give wine to your life. Honey, you want to be living in that, then she will give divine that you don't interest now with divine. It's too low. I want to go more high with that. Then he show, he give honey wine. He show honey wine. Take it, then you will become high. Right? Yeah. This is the process, right? And she can even give the fulfilling of all wishes of Krishna, who is, he has written, who is a deep and unbridled nectar ocean of love. So she can even fulfill all wishes of Krishna, even though he doesn't even know what wishes he has, actually. That's and amazing. To see that Krishna, he become Radharati. That. He is not telling that I am a supreme personality of God here and you have to give it. Nice. Pada Palavam. Uh, pada. Uh, what is God? Palavam Dehi. Yeah. Dehi Pada Halavam Udaram. Yeah, or yeah. So he is asking for the lotus feet of Rata, and he is saying, She is my guru. Yeah, and I am Manjari. <laughs> Serving to her that is Chaitanya, Chaitanya. Our Gaudiya line. Who is showing? Anandas Babaji, crystal clear showing to you. Where you can understand this? without illness. So I say, 
we are not qualified to read without understanding vilap kusumanjali and radha rasudhani if you not fix your astai bhav what my god asundar say astai bhav in your sarup wasting my life he is teaching me to see even if somebody share some gopi bhav or sakhi bhav he will go out from the room my god nothing no interest i surprise where he learned this only the book of philip you can I never understand Chaitanya Charitamrita Bhagavad Gita when I read Vila Kusmanjali. I can see this. This small boy, you see, show the picture to him. Punyam Shamal Sun, 22 years, 21 years. 23. 23. we don't touch any things so lucky we are unlucky many thing we are touching and not getting anything last thing please read one so, shila prabod ananda saraswati has given us a very nice hint in his radha rasura nidhi what the mind should do quickly take shelter of sweet nature radha he is also giving a reason why because she is like a grove full of vishilding vines who reveals a wonderful abundance of powerful rasika compassion so if we want to go there in rasa that's the best way and she is a deep and unbridled nectar ocean of love so now he is giving the way how to get there in the same words for yeah. attaining her all to gopinath he he is in kerala and he is sitting and he is watching only the meeting of the waves of the ocean and river <laughs> he don't want to go out from that this your is, fault for this you you are doing you see where you are watching the waves guru <laughs> and listening to the wonderful class uh, there are yes yes ocean waves they are my god and who is the ocean and who is the river you understand now leela is very divine we are the mind we are only looking this is the play as radha krishna's play you know we are the dasi of that we cannot be a river river 
by her mercy we can be a thinking in dream in meditation and some school teacher come prate prate and not every time sometimes it happens prate rat gurudev prate yeah uh, i want to see you uh i'm uh, my battery is almost dying so i just wanted to share that when i was watching the waves they're very powerful here so strong they're coming from front back side up down and i was feeling my god if the waves of the ocean are so strong then what about the waves of bhav of our swamini they must be unbearable and only they can rest in the ocean so then i was feeling gurudev when mahaprabhu was running towards the ocean now i feel i understand because he had so big waves of bhavs so only in the ocean he could you know calm them down otherwise not possible so imagine our swamini gurudev how big her waves are inside and she is constantly you know swimming in the ocean of rasa with her rustic shaker radhe radhe oh so this book gift of anandas baba ji radha rasudhani ji and vilap kusum manjali to feel that wave you cannot find out any place without going to this mercy of him so shila ananda das babaji is catching the situation for giving us a hint how we can get her how we can attain this radhika which is described in this verse he is saying for attaining her there is sadhana bhajan for attaining her we that is the order. i am always trying to say this this sadhana is very important sadhan ekane siddhiyo ekane in bangladesh here you can do with this physical body sadhan and perfection in your bhajan and this never you will find other places in other book only in vilapu samanjali and in radha sudhani this is the special gift in this book read all books and what is gifted here is a special for siddha deha for your asthai bhav so i will complete this then i will go for further book i have no i cannot is understand this i will practice i will learn i can do it then i can read other book right so <laughs> So I I feel like Ananda Das Babaji is giving us a, a sweet a bonbon, and now he's giving us a hint how to get unlimited of these sweets. Wow! For attaining her, there is sadhana bhajan. For attaining her, we take shelter of a guru. Yeah. Otherwise. how we can do sadhana if a guru is not advising us 
how to do this sadhana impulse And further on, he is saying, and this is the description actually of the Gaudiya Sampradaya. At heart, the Gaudiya Vaishnavas always cry for Radharani. At the point. So he is Dasi of Radhikana. And if Dasi can bring you to the Vasna, he will not hold in himself that you will stay with him. He says that I give you, I show you the way, and you have to work on. I will not work for you. He is so way. And give them essence. I said, now you do. Somebody, if previous Sukriti is there, it will be faster. If the previous Sukriti is not there, it will take time. But it will happen. Right? Or if we can have a lot of association with the Rasika Vaishnava, they will share something of their Sukriti and their drops of mercy with us, Guruji. That is a desire. And desire come by a previous Sukriti or mercy without Rasika association. Mercy will never come. And this is the previous Sukriti. If there is no previous Sukriti, desire will not happen. All right? And mercy will come to me. There are. But Gurudev, once I remember I had a time where I was so much in material troubles, I had no desire. And then I remember you only write one word for me, desire. <laughs> so then what? your desire for me created my desire. That is, uh, depends. What you create, that's it. That result will come. Then you need the wine. It is your desire will come. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> Directly, openly or indirectly, to sleep with him. With trucks, help of relaxation. <laughs> it may tell you a thing, you have to relax. When you go in divine, you will be in divine, but this is satisfying you? No, no, no. My Swami, I want to more to learn than honey wine will satisfy you. Right, Gopina? Yeah. Battery is, is, is off. <laughs> Can I share something, Gurudev? Yeah. I like to prove it from you. It got, yeah. got, it got arrived. <laughs> um, we spoke about the groove, Goravani, no? Grove. Grove, grove. And I could see that in the beginning when we start, this like an empty grove. And it's our grove. There is, a, this is a unique grove. Our heart is unique. <clears throat> and in the beginning, there are no, uh, this plants, nothing is there, Kripa. But by the mercy of Gurudev, we can ask him how to decorate this grove. 
Uh, and he will also give some seeds to plant there that they are growing. But we have to take care of the plants and of the seeds. We have to take care that they are growing. This is not that the Gurudev will do everything for us. We have to do. We have to become active. And then when they are growing, in the beginning, maybe there is some wine or divine. But when it is beautiful, when this grove is so beauty and it's smelling and beautiful, and everything is there, then Rata and Mohan will meet someday. We can invite them there. And when they are meeting, then the honey wine is there, Gurudev. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mukam karo tiva chalam. Hmm? Mukam karo tiva chalam. With the, I was even when I'm blind, by the mercy of the Gurudev, I can see. Yeah. Mukam, I cannot talk anything spiritually. Now I can start talking. I want to enjoy it. Means I can talk. I can feel, so I can share it. I can, the spirit is coming. I can tell it. I'm so fortunate how you are sharing. Now I want to listen here. So beautiful. How is it? When Gauravani say about her, Chaitanya Tamrit, I am full of tears and melting like anything. How he find it the highest rasa, I don't know. Punyam is helping to me in Zoom classes. He said, No. Well, no time for you. Every day is your class. So I'm not coming because I want to listen. So people did not say. Unexpected. I'm surprised. What I don't know, it is far to me to know. Wow. Thank you, Gaurwani. Tarun Baba, tomorrow again. What? Tomorrow. This Chaitanya. Huh? Tomorrow Chaitanya Chaitanya. Tomorrow is Chaitanya. It's only two thirty, good if we have yeah. half an hour left. Or what you have to read? No, tomorrow. Monday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow, Chaitanya Charit Amrita. Today, Anandadas Babaji quotes here. Hema Gauri Tanurai Anki Darashana Jai Rodana Koribo Abilas. This is from Brahma Bhakti Chantrika. My eyes desire to see the golden formed Radhika. And I cry out of that desire. Yes. This is the quote of Anandadas Babaji after he said, At the heart, the Gaudiya Vaishnavas always cry. For Adarani. Yes. This is as a sadhana. This has to be sadhana of God, Yahweh. Even the Krishna is in this sadhana. What about us? This is the sadhana. So if we want to follow, even if we want to follow Krishna, we have to do what he is saying, right? What he is doing? Yes. 
that to see if i don't if you love him and you what he do you not do then what do you love him he is himself doing yeah. what you love to your guru dev when you are not doing what he said to you wow i just remember when i heard about shiva and people who are worshiping him at one point shiva is telling all his disciples who are actually very on a on a high level he's telling i'm the das of krishna and then krishna is telling when they get further i'm the das of radha Do you see the Panchatantra? Mahavishnu and Narada is praying to the Gajadha, Chaitanya and Nityatma. And this is all Radha Tantra. So Ananda Das Babaji is giving us so many different tastes. Now he will speak about taste. He's giving us so much different tastes in this verse and he's showing us. And now he's giving another picture. Normally, we taste six flavors when we eat. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and so on. But now, there is a seventh flavor. The flavor of spiritual eros. Infused in the food that Sri Radhika serves to Sri Krishna. Again, this line. Normally, we taste six flavors when we eat, but now there is a seventh flavor. The flavor of spiritual eros infused in the food that Sri Radhika serves to Sri Krishna. This is you. You are. You are meant. And when you go to the theater, to our actor. One is director, and the one is the viewer. the The show becomes very, very when the viewer is start coming too much and they relish. Then the actors acting is beautiful, and director is also appreciated. Why? Because the, the show go to the sea, so there's so much like it, and that is Manjari Bha. So when in the highest seventh pursat is the Manjari Bha, Dharma Artha Kama Moksha. Pancham Pursat is the Pem Pursat. Sixth Pursat is the Vishuddha Prem Pursat. And Saman Pursat 
ही के अस्थाई भाव को जाने उससे दबे दैट इज द व्यूअर पोजिशन इन आवर लाइफ So in the food that Sri Radhika cooked for Krishna, there is spiritual eros, and this, this is this is the point. Radhika cooked for Krishna for the viewer, speaking to the viewer because they are the dasi of that. But he can't then even understand it. Yes. One book of Baba is a... I don't remember the name. Rasa Dasha. Rasa Dasha. Now it's not in printing, but it's mentioned there. Yeah. But really, I didn't catch it good. If you said Radharani cooks, and then she wants the dasis to watch her and learn also from this cooking, means how to infuse Mahabhav in all their activities. Radhe Radhe. Cooking is the job of Gaura Sundara. You say Radha, my kitchen is the work. You see how fast growing. We can see that kitchen religion. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, no kitchen, but kitchen bar is very good. Yes. Same Gurudev. We we read before we read verse nineteen ninety one. There is also. How Swamini is teaching Tulasi in different kinds of arts, and she teach her how to play the veena. What is the meaning of how to play the veena? To put bath her bath in that sound mm. that Krishna can relish it. Wow! Yeah. And is same as when. Same with the poetic. When when she teach her poems, then how to put Swamini's bath in this poems and to Lassi repeat it in the right moment to Krishna that he can relish her feelings. This is enjoying more double. Wow! This is. The beauty of the teachings of Swamini to to Lasi and to us, we got it also. And now we are in the kitchen. The same thing takes place. She teach also the manjaris how to put the bath in the food, and then Krishna will relish it, and then he is hardly to stop to meet her. Yeah. All about bath. We only speak about bath. Therefore, this is Guru And as mercy, we also read what is when Swamini is satisfied with our service. Then in a in a hidden moment, when nobody will see, then she put the chewed beta leaf, what she got from our Mohan, her Mohan, 
she put in our mouth, from mouth to mouth, this to see. Yeah. That's so special. And it's who give it to us, no? who explained it? No? We don't we did not know about these things without the teachings of our guru. Ananda Das Babaji is commentaring and you're explaining this so nicely, Gurudev. Otherwise we we don't know what what is meaning of behind. And we we will never get it. Without parampara, what is actually given by our Nityananda to his followers in the heart directly. And from there we are coming from. Pipeline. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's only you are listening. This philosophy is wrong, high his guys. They have also feeling <laughs> you see how deep they can go. Yeah. My grandmother is from France, good. <laughs> <laughs> Jai Shri Rade. I just remembered two questions I heard in this connection. What Gorachandra just said. There was a question. Gora Sundara. Gora Sundara. Sorry. Gora Sundara. Gora Bahia. So many Goras. I had so, there was a question, why actually Radhika has to cook herself and why, the second question, why Radhika has to make the poems herself? Maybe she has so many qualified uh, maidservants, why they could not do that? That's the Guru thing. Dev, maybe you can give us some light. Uh, I want to say, after listening Chaitanya Chaitanya in your heart, everything becomes crystal clear. Please say. I remember Ramananda Roy was speaking with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was praising him. So through the mouth, of Ramananda Roy, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was speaking. So Gurudev wants to do the same to his disciples in the last weeks and somehow it seems like this is his sweet will. So actually the highest rasa for the enjoyment of Krishna, of course, only one person can fulfill. So when Radharani is cooking for Krishna, there are her feelings, her bath, directly in the food. So as we know, even the gopis are expansions from Radharani. They cannot fulfill all the wishes of Mohan. It's not possible because they are aspects from Radharani. So Radharani is the full, all aspects in one person, all the Mahabhav, Madha Nakya Mahabhav, which is actually making him crazy. And this is actually only possible when Radharani is cooking herself for him. Then this is infused. And the same with poem. 
A Manjuri would never, although she understands fully Radharani, but she would never meditate in this, that aspect of exchanging love with Krishna. She would not go in this meditation. So only Radharani herself can go in this meditation and put all her feelings, her Mahabhav, her Mother Nakya Mahabhav, in this poem. That's why Tulasi Manjari is just speaking that poem, but not writing it, actually. And that's why Manjaris are delivering the food, but not cooking themselves. They help. They help Radharani. But they could not do it themselves. Yeah. So, Srila Ananda Das Babaji is describing further. The Sakis and the maid servants can also relish that flavor. Krishna is Akila Ras Amrita Murti, the embodiment of all transcendental nectarian flavors. And Rasaracha, the king of flavors. And everybody relishes him in their own way. Yeah, very deep meaning of honor. Yeah. In Srimad Bhagavat, in the verse Malanam, Ashaniya, uh, Ashani 10, 43, 17, it is described that when Krishna entered into Kangsa's arena in Mathura, all the spectators saw him according to their own mood and Consciousness in his commentary on this verse, Sripad Sridaswami has written the different people saw Krishna according to their own mood, desire, opinion, and eligibility, but no one could see him as the embodiment of all the different transcendental flavors, like the erotic flavor. As we know, in this highest flavor, all the other flavors are included. So only, only if you are in Manjari bath, you may see them all. So in Mathura, there is no Manjari bath. So how they could see that? Not possible. Yeah. See that. Swamini has placed all the tasty dishes in Mother Rohini's hands. 
How wonderful are the movements of her hands. Shyam Sundara is absorbed. He relishes Swamini's inner feelings. Ma. Shyam Sundara is absorbed. He relished Swamini's inner feelings. How eager he is to have her. It is said, Te Mukha Padmam, your lotus face, Madhava's eyes are like bumblebees, restlessly these thirsty bees drink the nectar of Swamini's lotus-like face. There is not so much time for Radha and Krishna to glance at each other, but somehow they find some consolation by blinking at each other for a while with lowered faces. Ah. In that one second, they drink all the honey from each other's lotus-like face with their bee-like eyes. The relish of the honey of their lotus eyes is included in the relish of the honey of their lotus-like faces. Wow. While their four eyes meet, Krishna prays to Swamini. He is praying for love and another blissful meeting. Swamini reciprocates by consoling Krishna with a tiny glance. Krishna had lost his appetite out of anxiety, but after having been consoled, he begins to eat again. Swamini has pacified him. Dauchi Maharaj does not notice it. Shyama managed to deceive his, him and Mother Yashoda by secretly looking at Swamini. What a wonderful deluge of sweetness. Deluge is like a shower or big wave of sweetness. What a wonderful deluge of sweetness. Swamini has pacified Shyam's heart by consoling him. The Acharyas aim at the meeting of Radha Madhava because 
Then they can attain their long desired devotional service. Yugala Charana Seva, Yugala Charana Jeva, Yugalai Manera Piriti, Yugala Kishora Rupa, Kamarati Ganabupa, Manerahu O Lila Ki Riti. Prima Bhakti Chandrika. May the devotional service of the Yugala's lotus feet remain on my mind. May I meditate on their feet and may my mind love this Yugala Kishore that are the monars of all cupids and ratis. Yeah. I want to see all the tricks Krishna uses to see you, even in the assembly of his superiors. Sri Raghunath says, O Madure, Sweet girl, your cheeks start to blossom like a lotus flower in a river when they experience the touch of the sun rays of Madhava's glance. We will see it and understand it all. Srila Raghunath is saying this. We will see it and understand it all. You cannot hide anything from us. None of Ratha and Madhava's secrets will remain hidden from those who understand the power of their ecstatic love. This is how wonderful the love of the Mandaris is. Before Radhika and Mohan meet, these Dasis know in which Kundra their pastimes will take place and they will decorate that place before Rata and Krishna arrive there. There will be no limit to Tulasi's ecstasy when the Yugala meets under four eyes. But they meet, keep in meeting. Jai Shirade, thank you for your mercy, Gurudev. Thank you. Thank you.